Gary, next signing through the door, Ben Parrington. Um, why was Ben someone you wanted to bring to the club? He was someone, I think, that has good experience of this league and other leagues. I think he's at a great age uh, to, to complement the, the group that we have and to help uh, add experience and, and kind of know how uh, this level is someone with good versatility up the left-hand side. It gives us a different option, I think, tactically, how, how he can play. Uh, I've spoke to him a lot about it, but it's going to be great to get him on the grass and see what kind of how we can use him. And like I said, that left wing back, left back, left centre back type role. He adds competition for for Alex, for for Zach, uh, and he's a player that wants to be here. He's an Exeter boy. He supports the club. Uh, all his family support the club, so he knows what it means to to represent this football club and play for this football club. And we're delighted to get him. I'm sure he, he might break the record in January as well for the longest distance travelled for one signing within the country. I mean, Ross County to Exeter, you could not get much further than that. No, he was talking about that when he obviously he was at Charlton and he left Charlton to go to Ross County and it seems like he's always been kind of far, as far away as he can get from his house. But uh, he's delighted to be back home. He left Dingwall yesterday at God knows what time and uh, got here late last night. So we'll integrate him today. He won't full train, he'll do part training with the players and get to know the group. He'll train tomorrow and we'll, we'll see how he is for the squad. But we're delighted to get him. He was somebody we looked at in the summer and it wasn't, you know, to be at that moment. But we've kept in touch and, and thankfully we've managed to do it now. And I think he's a great addition to the squad in terms of creating that competition that I've spoke about, you know, so that players are, are pushed in every position uh, and he will come and fight for that, that place up that left-hand side. Plenty of experience in the Football League and obviously in the SPL as well. And he's a player that that experience will be really beneficial within within a fairly young squad. Yeah, I think it's important. I think your experienced players and your older players are the the people that set the culture, the people that set standards in amongst the dressing room and the younger players follow that. So it's important, you know, along with Will and Sweens. Uh, TC, uh, Woodsy, you know, those those experienced players have been fantastic for us. And when we add another one, you know, that's, that's good for the younger players to, to learn from those players. And they're the ones that set the standards. So I think Ben is a, a fantastic addition on, on that front as well. When you bring in someone like him on a permanent basis in January, are you looking more towards the future, perhaps the next couple of seasons as well as just the next few months? Yeah, definitely. I think that's something we we spoke about as a club in the summer that the the changes that obviously happened because of academy players wanting to leave and leaving uh on on kind of tribunal fees or or you know different things and then obviously the sale of sam uh, who who only had a year left in his contract financially that's given us the opportunity to plan further ahead and and try and bring players in for a longer term and so we can build a squad over a period of time rather than changing every window and changing every season so hopefully ben is the kind of first of them that will bring us continuity for a number of years that we can build a team that is capable of you know really achieving at this level